Hey guys, this is Zaza and I'm back with another video. As you know, we are covering Oxford Border Skills Basic Book and today we are going to learn about some jobs. So open your book, Unit 44, and watch this video. Unit 44, I can name jobs. As you can see, we have some jobs here and we have two questions about others' jobs. For example, what do you do? or what's your job another word for job is occupation you can ask what's your occupation to so we have some options here like a police officer a police officer a shop assistant a shop assistant a builder a builder a businessman a businessman a businesswoman a businesswoman a nurse, a nurse, a teacher, a teacher, a secretary, a secretary, a hairdresser, a hairdresser, a chef, a chef, a dentist, a dentist, a soldier, a soldier, a cleaner, a cleaner, a vet, a vet, a pilot, a pilot. A lorry driver, a lorry driver. Also, we can say a train driver, a bus driver, a taxi driver. For example, you can ask me, what do you do or what's your job? And I can answer, I'm a teacher. So, let me ask you a question. What do you do or what's your job? Write about your job in the comment part. Also, we have a spotlight about a and an with jobs. We use a or an when we say what people's job are. For example, he's a builder, she's a teacher, and he's an engineer. In this unit, we can learn some other vocabularies with their examples and meaning. The first one is self-employed. Self-employed. It means work for yourself, not for a company. For example, are you self-employed? Another word is unemployed. Unemployed. It means with no job, but wanting to work. For example, I'm unemployed, but I'm looking for a job. Next one, retired retired my grandfather has stopped work because he is over 65 for example my grandfather is retired now it means when you are not working because you're old enough next one is housewife housewife or house husband house husband it means a woman or a man who looks after the house and family and doesn't go out to work. For example, she's a housewife now, but she was a lawyer. And the last one, boss. Boss. A person who tells people what to do in their jobs. For example, who's the boss in this company? This was all about Unit 44 and we have some exercises here. Let's check them together. Number one, circle the correct answers. As you know, you have two options and you need to choose one. For example, the most important person in the company is the boss. You have about one minute to choose between two options you have. Number one, a vet works with dogs and cats. A shop assistant sells things. A nurse works in a hospital. Retired people are usually old. An unemployed person hasn't got a job. A businesswoman can be self-employed. A businessman usually has a secretary. A dentist 
looks after people's teeth. A chef works in a kitchen. A builder works outdoors a lot. Exercise two: Correct the spelling mistakes. You can see some mistakes in their writing. You should find them and write the correct form of the dictation. You have about one minute. Number one, businessman. Two, shop assistant. Three, hairdresser. Secretary. Police officer. Retired. Builder. Lorry driver. Cleaner. Housewife. Self-employed and soldier. Exercise three. Complete the sentences. You have some blanks here. Based on the information that you can understand from the questions, you should answer them. For example, does she stay at home with the children? Yes, she's a housewife. You have one minute to think about them and write the correct words. Number one, could she cut my hair? Yes, she's a hairdresser. Two, does he work for Alitalia? Yes, he's a pilot. Three, has she got a job? No, she's unemployed. Four, does he tell people what to do? Yes, he's the boss. She's seventy. Has she got a job? No, she's retired. Does he work for other people? No, he is self-employed. Does she work with students? Yes, she is a teacher. Does he work in that restaurant? Yes, he is a chef. Exercise four about you. Think about your family and people you know. Write their names if they do the jobs below. You have some options like a job or occupation. If you know someone do these jobs, you need to write their names, like a nurse, a vet, a soldier, a secretary, a chef, a hairdresser, someone who is unemployed, someone who is retired, a teacher, a pilot, a dentist, a businessman or woman, a boss. For teacher part, you can write my name. My name is Zaza. And because our answers could be different from each other, we don't check them. But you have one minute to think about them and write your friend's name or family member's name. And the last exercise, test yourself. Look at the pictures and cover the words. What are the jobs? Then cover the words and examples in the table and look at the meaning. Can you say the words? I'm going to do this for you. I cover the jobs. You should think about them and come with the name of them. And I cover the words and examples for the table. Please think about them and come with the vocabularies you learned in this unit.
That's it, this is the end of the unit 44, but I have a question of you. What do you do or what's your job? Write it in the comment parts, I'm gonna check it. See you soon.